Hi, my name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads. Today, Peter Tusick is here to show us the Victor Reader Trek. So let's take a look. Hello, friends. My name is Peter Tusick, and I am the brand ambassador of Blindness Products for Humanware. I uh, just want to spend a minute with you guys today to talk about the Victor Reader Trek. Um, I'm sure many of you have heard of the Victor Reader Stream. Some of you might even use one. Uh, but we've taken the Victor Reader Stream and we've combined it with a GPS product. So for anyone who knows how to use a stream, you will be familiar with all of the buttons because they are all the same. Uh, and the second piece is the GPS will work in the same way you kind of work with your books as you do now. So the where am I key in a book, for instance, will tell you where you are on a street and maybe the direction of travel you're heading in, the type of intersection you're coming up to. So we're going to get detailed intersection descriptions. Uh, and the second piece of it is we can work with the Trekker Breeze uh, products on the Victor Reader Trek in open area mode. So when we think about what we used to have with the Humanware Trekker Breeze and the Breeze Plus, we were able to lock ourselves into open area mode and we can do that now with the Victor Reader Trek. So if you're in a big college campus, if you're in a, a, you know, some open area, maybe a big city park. Uh, I live in Chicago, there's a lot of those. But you can always put yourself into open area mode and drop landmarks so you can easily navigate to them as the crow flies. You can search for points of interest, whether it be Best Buy or Dunkin' Donuts, um, and get pedestrian or vehicle instruction. So what we, what we did was we took your existing Victor Reader Stream product um, and combined it with the power of GPS. So now you can read your books when you're on your way to work and you can navigate once you get off the bus. This is Peter Tusick and this has been another tip. And that's your tech tip for this week. My name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.